Hey there, Mystery Movie Recaps here. In an abandoned store, Carol desperately searches for medicine or energy drinks to keep herself awake, while dangerous forces try to break through a door to reach her. This chaos began a few days ago when a space shuttle exploded upon re-entering Earth's atmosphere, scattering its debris across several states in the USA. The media quickly reports it as an alien invasion, causing widespread panic. While most people are afraid to touch the debris, opportunists sell salvaged items on eBay. Tucker, the head of the Center for Disease Control, visits one of the crash sites and discovers a piece of debris contaminated with a mysterious organism that can withstand radiation and multiply rapidly. It is suspected to be from another planet. Unknowingly, Tucker cuts his finger on a small piece of debris but dismisses it. Later, Tucker's behavior becomes strange, and his dog growls at him for no reason. Meanwhile, Carol's son Oliver has nightmares, and she rushes to comfort him. The next day, Carol receives a call from Tucker, who wants to see his son, which is unusual. Carol refuses and goes to work as a psychiatrist. On her way, she meets her friend Ben, who reveals that the government is hiding something serious related to the crash site. Carol complains about Tucker's odd behavior and his sudden interest in seeing their son after being absent for four years. At her office, Carol's patient Wendy shares that her husband has been acting strangely since the crash. Wendy's husband killed their dog without any emotion. Carol prescribes medication for Wendy but senses that something is wrong. Later, while trick-or-treating, a dog attacks one of the boys, but he shows no reaction. Back at Carol's home, Oliver screams, and Carol finds a strange piece of flesh in his hand from the candy. The next day, Carol encounters a terrified woman running through the streets but ignores her. She takes the flesh to Ben, who shares it with his scientist friend Stephen for testing. A mysterious virus begins spreading rapidly, causing many deaths, and an emergency meeting is held. Tucker explains that an inoculation program is the only way to stop the spread. Meanwhile, Carol witnesses a homeless man having a seizure but receives help. At her office, Wendy's husband refuses to leave until he sees his wife, displaying no emotion. Carol warns Wendy and saves her from entering the building. Carol reluctantly allows Oliver to spend time with Tucker. On their way, a terrified woman appears in the road, warning of impending danger before being hit by a car. Carol drops Oliver at Tucker's house and notices his lack of emotion. Later, Carol attends a party with Ben and engages in a philosophical conversation. Ben tries to kiss Carol, but she stops it to preserve their friendship. At home, Carol receives a visit from a man claiming to be from the census department. They struggle, but Carol manages to lock him out. Oliver plays with his friend Jean, who also behaves strangely. Carol finds people on the streets with blank stares and learns that all her clients have canceled their appointments. She realizes the virus is controlling people and contacts Ben, who informs her that the skin sample test results are ready. The sample contains spores that take over the human brain during sleep, rendering people unstable. Ludmila informs them that Yurish is acting strangely, and they rush to his house. Yurish attacks Carol, but Ben saves her. Carol worries about Oliver's exposure and goes to Tucker's house to pick him up. Tucker infects Carol, but she escapes. Carol seeks help from her infected neighbors but finds no assistance. She crashes her car and is chased by infected people. Carol enters a subway station, where she discovers other uninfected individuals who advise her to act emotionless to avoid detection. Infected people enter the train, and Carol and the other uninfected passengers flee to the end of the train and close the door. The infected ones desperately press the emergency button, bringing the train to a halt. They break down the door, ready to infect the passengers. Carol, quick thinking, opens the back door and jumps off the train, escaping through the tunnel. Carol reaches a train station and finds a guard's gun. Startled, she accidentally shoots the approaching guard. Terrified, Carol drops the gun and crosses the station, pretending to be infected. She witnesses cops forcefully vaccinating uninfected citizens, a ploy by Tucker to spread the virus. An uninfected cop notices Carol's sweat and warns her to leave quickly. Carol walks away and bumps into her neighbor, who offers her the vaccine. 
Carol's convincing act makes her neighbor believe she has already been vaccinated. Carol heads to Tucker's house but finds it empty. She leaves a message for Oliver before continuing her search. She stumbles upon a group of people witnessing a tragic event. Carol remains composed and continues until she reaches the Belisek mansion. Carol finds Ben and Stephen conducting tests. After a discussion, Ben agrees to help Carol find her son while Stephen and his assistant search for a cure. They decide to stay awake, fearing infection if they fall asleep. Belisek returns, infected and suspicious of intruders. He lets guards into the mansion. Carol and the others witness this on security cameras and escape through the back door. On the streets, Carol sees Wendy being forcefully taken away by infected cops. Wendy fights back, claiming she slept but remained uninfected. The cops knock her out. The group splits up, and Carol and Ben discuss Wendy's immunity. They deduce that Wendy's brain illness, encephalitis, made her immune. Carol and Ben search Wendy's medical profile. They discover that the virus targets healthy brains. Ben calls Stephen with this information. Meanwhile, Carol receives a text from Oliver, revealing his location at his grandmother's home in Baltimore. Carol confesses to Ben that she has been infected, but he assures her that everything will be alright. Ben drives recklessly through blocked roads, diverting the police's attention. Carol continues on foot and encounters a cop. She presents her ID with a poker face and is allowed to leave. Carol reaches the train station and boards a train to Baltimore, hiding in the bathroom. Carol's lack of sleep takes a toll on her, causing hallucinations. She wakes up just in time, washing away a strange flesh. She opens the door to find Jean, who explains he lost his family and now considers Carol and Oliver as his own. Jean urges Carol to sleep, but she pretends to do so privately. Carol and Jean arrive in Baltimore. Tucker escorts them to his mother's place, believing Carol's emotionless act. Oliver is not present, but Carol continues to act around the family. She receives a call from Ben, speaking in code as her secretary. When Tucker leaves for work, Carol searches the house and finds Oliver in a room. They reunite with a hug. Oliver reveals that he has been sleeping but remains uninfected due to his sleeping disorder medication. Suddenly, Jean catches them, but Carol easily pushes him away. Carol and Oliver escape. Carol and Oliver hide in an empty department store. Carol finds an injection in the medicine section and explains to Oliver that he should inject her heart if she falls asleep. They search for food. Carol receives a call from Ben who learns their location and promises to pick them up. Oliver approaches a door with blood splattered nearby, but Carol stops him. She investigates and finds infected people undergoing transformation. Carol takes a cop's gun and locks the door, warning Oliver to stay away. Hours pass as they wait for Ben. Carol desperately searches for anything to stay awake. Carol falls asleep. The infected people inside the room wake up and try to break out. Oliver injects Carol with the syringe, waking her up and cancelling the transformation. Carol washes off the strange flesh and leaves the bathroom. She discovers Ben has arrived but realizes he is infected. Carol points her gun at him, but Ben opens the door, releasing the other infected people. Carol shoots them one by one but cannot bring herself to kill Ben. She shoots him in the leg and escapes with Oliver. Carol and Oliver escape in Ben's car. They are surrounded by infected people and crash the car. Carol loses consciousness. Oliver wakes her up, and they speed away, pushing the infected people aside. Police cars chase them, causing Carol to crash again. Carol and Oliver make it to the parking lot of the building where Stephen and his army buddies are waiting in a helicopter. They fight off the infected people and reach the roof. They escape in the helicopter. Sometime later, scientists outside the USA create a vaccine, eradicating the alien virus worldwide. Stephen, the main scientist, explains that vaccinated people will have no memories of the events. Carol has adopted Jean and is now in a relationship with Ben. They drop off the boys at school, and Carol reflects on the alien's offer of peace.